Hi, I'm Ty Davis. Today we're going to talk GitLab Value Stream Management and the productivity insights that are available. With those the developer insights, security insights, operation insights, those those are giving us views at either a a specific project level or you know a step above uh, if we want to take a view at that team. Productivity insights. This allows us to take uh, a more holistic view of specific metrics, KPIs, and our software delivery lifecycle. Product analytics. That they're what this is doing is it's going to track um, velocity. So for many companies. Uh, the development cycle, this is a black box and, and it's getting an estimate of, of how long on average, you know, it takes to deliver features, uh, which is normally an enormous endeavor. With the value stream analytics that we first started with that focuses on that entire software development life cycle, uh, these productivity analytics, they're going to provide a way for engineering management to drill down uh, again in a systematic way to uncover patterns and causes for the success or failure. Uh, all from a software development lifecycle uh, platform that provides this kind of single uh, source of truth. Productivity can slow down for many reasons, ranging from to creating code uh, based to maybe growing quickly or quickly growing teams. So what we can do with productivity is we can visualize something like uh, merge requests lifetime statistics. We can use a histogram that shows the distribution of time elapsed in between creating and merging merge requests. Maybe I am an engineering manager and I'm wondering um, why merge requests are taking longer than uh, 10 days here. So if I click on 10 days, you know, our sprints, maybe they're two weeks and 10 days is pushing it close as, you know, we look to stay on track with our velocity estimates. Um, so what is holding up an MR from the last time uh, a commit was made and in between uh, that time to merging that to master branch. So I, I have someone that's made a commit and it's just sitting in queue. Let's look at this one that has 101 hours. You know, I want to see uh, this one's been merged, but this one had a long um, queue time. So what, what was, you know, that problem that made it in queue from the time that that person committed uh, their last commit to when it was actually merged? And the traceability aspect of going into that, that merge request and seeing all the different uh, actions that took place, uh, you get a, 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 a timestamp of everything that happened. So uh, this is able to me as a uh, engineer manager to understand why my team may be having a, a bottleneck in pushing out something from that last commit to actually getting it to production. Uh, with issue analytics, this helps gauge our approach to, um, if we look at like an agile project management approach, maybe how customer feedback impacts our backlogs. Um, issue analytics is just a bar graph, which is gonna uh, illustrate the number of issues created uh, in specific time frames. Right now, what I'm looking at, I we have uh, labels, which are a, a very big part of GitLab. And um, sorry, not labels, but labels are, but in this particular case, a milestone, um, which is a time box period. Milestones inside of GitLab is where you're gonna define uh, your sprints or your releases. Uh, in this particular case, uh, we're looking at uh, GitLab's 13.0 release. That's um, our upcoming release. And we can see the issues that were opened up against that release. We can see obviously an increase in the in the last few months as issues are being added or they're being moved from um, previous releases that, that maybe didn't make that, that previous or earlier release and has moved on to 13.0. Um, so code review, uh, the, addressing uh, software lifecycle bottlenecks, this could be done um, via code review dashboard, and this provides a list of open merge requests that maybe uh, engineering uh, needs to address from a, a, again, a manager or a director view. I can see open merge requests. I can see uh, how much review time. I can see the comments around that, the commits made around it, how many line changes. So. Uh, this review time is 185 days. Why, why is this taking so long for an engineer to get done? I can dive into that. 
and then take again a look at the different uh, reasons why it may have uh, not been completed. Pipeline failure, dive into that. But this view is going to give me, you know, a it's designed for development team leaders and others who want to understand that broad code review <laughs> dynamics, identify patterns to help explain them. So, you know, you can expose your team's unique challenges with this code review. Again, identifying improvements that may be like substantially, uh, that, that may substantially help you accelerate uh, your dev life cycle. As, as the count of issues or merge requests uh, and epics, they grow within GitLab, it's, it's more, it becomes more and more challenging to keep track of those items, uh, especially as an organization, maybe that it's already larger, uh, it continues to grow. In this case for us, from a few hundred people to uh, thousands. This is where something such as labels comes into GitLab. And with labels, they help you uh, organize and tag work so you can track and find the work items uh, that you're most interested in. Uh, anything that can be labeled can be tracked in GitLab. So uh, this insights view uh, is a configuration of different labels and it's been customized uh, for GitLab.org to have view into, um, in this particular case, priorities of issues that came in. And it's going to show me a, a, a aggregated view of those different priorities. Uh, again, I can um, manipulate the time frame. Um, there's customization that's been done around these insights. Anything from uh, we look at bug classification. So if I want to see, and hopefully this uh, doesn't take too long to load, but if I want to see the uh, bugs that have came in over uh, for the, the organization as a whole, I can see again the priorities around open bugs the amount that are uh, that are uh, directly involved to the priority and then uh, address those if this is something a specific dashboard that we need uh, to look at so end in transient failures thanks for watching our video on productivity insights as part of GitLab's value stream management be sure to check out more videos on our YouTube channel